to my channel. This is Dave in Sports Convo. Please like, share, and subscribe. And most of all, enjoy the video. Hey, everybody. It's game day, star of the week. Thursday night football coming up. Ravens versus Chiefs. We have made it, everyone. Woo! Just want to make a big announcement. I'm done doing the Fridays. Tuesdays, be on the lookout for my weekly game picks and recap of the previous NFL week. And then tune in on Sunday mornings on my Patreon as I drop in fantasy uh, advice, weekly starts, sits, all that jazz on my Patreon. On my Instagram, I'm definitely going to be doing big old reactionaries to all the games look out for that so that one's gonna be fun so every time a game happens look out on my instagram see my instant reaction to the final of the game so tune in for all my new content as we kick off the new nfl football season on my three platforms that i'll be working on you come here on youtube on tuesdays get my full-on uh former week recap and or analysis of the upcoming week with my pickums. then on to my instagram get my reactions to the finals of each game and then on patreon as on sunday mornings i'm doing my weekly fantasy advice week start sits all that jazz and any questions you may have for me i will definitely take upon myself and answer them and respond to you quickly now let's move on to what you're all here for my week week one game pick starting i'll go with the ravens beating the chiefs at their home let's go just like the lions did last year chiefs are not good at home openers there's not just statistic there's not especially based on last year's data there's not you know um oh and one um so the ravens are going to look to continue that uh let's go lamar coming off an of mvp season should look to continue this dominance uh can't wait for derrick henry's debut too in the chiefs let's see what they got chris jones gotta do some work to stop that and then on friday night on peacock we have green bay versus the philadelphia eagles woo, 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 woo. i'm picking the packers it's, I know, I know I shouldn't be, and I, I really want the Eagles to win because of I think it's going to come down to the wire on wins and losses to win the NFC North between the Lions and the Packers. And this game right here, this game right, every game counts. But Green Bay is going to win it in Brazil. Uh, so now moving on, we got our Sunday slated game starting with the Pittsburgh Steelers at Atlanta Falcons. I'm picking the Atlanta Falcons. They're going to wreak havoc on that Steelers offensive line that's having total amount of injuries. And I love adding Judon. He's going to be fresh. He's just going to be going after it. They finally got some type of a piece that can pass rush on that D-line. Uh, so going with Atlanta, I don't trust Pittsburgh. I love Pittsburgh's defense, of course. TJ Watt's going to do some work. Uh, I, just, I just trust Atlanta's offense more than I trust Steelers offense so that's the difference for me it's a definitely a tough game to evaluate and i think falcons will barely come out on top then we have arizona at buffalo this is going to be an amazing game kyle murray in a shootout with josh allen both defenses are trash they look out for a high scoring game and if you have any fantasy players play them get them in there get playing uh that's my big statement there arizona is going to go with the win on this one i'm picking arizona to beat buffalo josh allen's not the best also in home openers, uh, so I'm going Arizona. I think they're prep ready, and Marvin Harrison's debut is going to be fantastic. Then we have Tennessee Titans at the Chicago Bears. Now I'm going with the Chicago Bears, another key NFC North rival that I had. I'm pick. I, I think is going to win. I think the NFC North is going to be the toughest division in football, uh, and I think Tennessee Titans it, uh, are not ready. Will Levis? We'll see how he plays. Uh, and it would be a nice, you know, uh, it's a second year versus the rookie, uh, Kayla Williams, but Kayla Williams is about to show out, uh, Tennessee, they might have Lajari Sneed, Shadow, DJ Moore, we'll see, so probably not be best to start DJ Moore if you do have him, but 
we'll see how that matchup goes. Um, I think that's going to be an interesting game, and we'll see a lot of, of both quarterbacks for the rest of the season displayed in that game. And then we have New England at Cincinnati. I'm going with Cincinnati, even if Drake May starts. And Joe Burrow is going to lay the wood. He's going to just air out the ball. Uh, T. Higgins is going to eat up. Apparently, he has a questionable status. And then Jamar. So then it might be Burton's show. It might be time. For, I mean, who's Burrow going to throw to? You know? Irvin? I know a lot of Cincinnati fans love Irvin, but he, he, so. But also, I'm more scared of New England's offensive weapons than uh, Cincinnati. So I'm taking Cincinnati in this. Let's go. Uh, now, also, we have the Houston Texans at Indianapolis Colts. I'm picking the Indianapolis Colts. I know everybody's probably picking Houston on this one. I just have a gut feeling that Anthony Richardson, former Ford Florida Gator, is going to bring it. It's going to be the answer. Look out, world. C.J. Stroud. Maybe everyone figures them out. We'll see. But Houston's fantastic. Houston looks very dominant. Um, so it's hard. to. I think everyone's going to pick Houston every week uh, is, is probably the memo uh, from a lot of your game day analysts. But for me, I will pick against them. I will take those odds. Now, also, we have a great Florida matchup with the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Mi at the Miami Dolphins. It's going to be a hot one, but perfectly for the Jacksonville Jaguars. They should be used to it. Um, it's not like they're having the bills like they did in years prior uh, with that heat game. Uh, but overall, Miami Dolphins, I'm picking them to win. Uh, I think it's a very tough game. Uh, overall, I think it's going to be a shootout. But overall, uh, above all lines, I don't trust. I just... Oh, I just trust McDaniels. That's what I'm picking that game. I just pick because of McDaniels. I mean, Doug Peters, Super Bowl, all that. I don't know. I just think McDaniels wants it more. So I think he's going to be put the Dolphins in the best position to win. So I'm going with that. And then also we have Carolina at New Orleans. A big division game. Big. All right. And, and a lot of stuff. So this, is, this is the best NFC South football you're going to see is always in the beginning of the season, not the end of the season. So that's a great game to watch. Uh, New Orleans should come on top, but Bryce Young, I, it should be all revamped and everything. So we'll see. It would be nice to see it, but I'm going with Derek Carr on this one. And tune in, tune in, look out. Hopefully Derek Carr retains his job. Spencer Rattler on the up. And for another game we have on the 1 o'clock slate, uh, the last one, we have Minnesota versus New York Giants. I'm going with the New York Giants. Daniel Jones is going to have a nice day, I think. Uh, let's see. The Vikings are reworking a lot of things. It'll be Sam Darnold's first start. We'll see how that all goes. But I think Daniel Jones is something to prove, and they're going to come out on top. So I'm going with the New York Giants. Now for our 4 o'clock games, we have the Las Vegas Raiders at L.A. Chargers. I'm going with the Raiders. I know probably everyone's going with the Chargers and Jim Harbaugh's debut as a Michigan fan. You think I would, but I, I think Tony Pierce is going to put them in the right position to win. I don't. I don't think they have a better team at all, uh, but I definitely think they could come out top on a key rivalry game. Then we have Denver versus Seattle. I'm going with Seattle. I'm going with this whole new coaching regime. I love their new staff over the Pete Carroll era. Geno Smith's going to air it out. Uh, Denver is scary, especially if Patrick State just got his contract extension. He's motivated, and hungry. But Bo Nick's uh, debut happening, I think Seattle will properly coordinate and beat the rookie and come out on top. Then we have Dallas versus Cleveland. I know a lot of you probably are very amped for that game. It's probably the, the game of the 4 o'clock window. I'm picking Cleveland to win. Um, is that right? Is that right? Uh, man, see, I, I might change my mind. No, nah, I'm, I'm picking Cleveland. I... I don't trust Cle I I don't trust both teams. I really don't. But I do trust Dak Prescott over this whole thing. But I think Miles Garrett is going to come out hungry and disrupt the game in the favor of Cleveland compared to what Michael Parsons would do to uh, whoever plays quarterback, James Winston, Deshaun Watson. I don't know who. Um, so, but I'm going to go Cleveland on this one. I think I, I think it's going to be a rocky year for Cleveland. But I think this is one of the games they can win um, in the early time of it. Then our last game of the 4 o'clock, we have Washington at Tampa Bay. Big game, big game, I think. I know a lot of people are right, but Jane Daniels' debut. We'll see who he is. 
And then Baker Mayfield with the actual offseason with the team, I think Tampa Bay is going to look very nice. I think Tampa Bay will come out on top and disrupt the rookie debut. Uh, and then we have Sunday night football prime time. LA Rams against the Detroit Lions. Hopefully we do a shout out for Matthew Stafford. Celebrate him. Love him. That's my man. That's my, I appreciate his time with Detroit. I'll pick a Detroit Lions to win this. And uh, we're going we're gonna to win it. Uh, I don't believe in the Rams defense. I got to see it first to believe it. Even though they got those two FSU DNs. That should be great. Um, that I am pumped about. And uh, But I think the Lions will come on top. Also, the Rams O-line is I don't really trust. I think this is the time we'll see our D-line be at its best in the year. And this should be a breakout game for Hutchinson. Look out. Um, he's going to be dominant. Then for the last game, Monday night foot. Ball going with San Fran beating the Jets. Aaron Rodgers is not going to last the game. That's unfortunate. So that's the Jets' plan is to roll him out and the Jets for their season. The Niners are going to come in with Fred Warner, Nick Bosa, all them boys. Like they're going to they're they're going to probably hurt Aaron Rodgers. Like he can't handle that. You know, it's just like he's not built for it. And if he does, they're not winning the game. That's the thing. He's not a difference maker like he was. So I, I, I just don't believe in him. You know, I, I just got to see it. I just got to see it. And Brock, they just came from the Super Bowl. They might have a hangover, um, but I don't think so. Uh, they got all their contracts signed up. They took care of Trent Williams. They got it all divvied up and everything like that, which is nice. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going with the San Francisco 49ers. And that will conclude week one, my NFL game picks. I appreciate you all hearing me out on this stay tuned check me out next tuesday on this youtube check me out this sunday on my patreon as i do my fantasy advice and then stay tuned for my instagram because tonight's football let's go you're gonna get my instant reaction on instagram today look out so appreciate you all joining me on this video and tuning in and stay tuned for more thanks again from yours truly Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I had a great time doing it. Thanks for your time watching, and please don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. I also have a uh, Instagram account at David Sports Convo. I also have a Twitch stream under with Davin SC, and then I have a Patreon account, uh, David Sports Convo. Check it all out for all of its each uh, platform with its own exclusive content, doing everything related to uh, this amazing sports world that we live in. Thank you all again for your time, and have a wonderful day.